What's up everyone, Sean Count Black Earth here with a question video. Uh, this was inspired by a reply to another question that YouTube user Sarah's Record Shelf made to someone else about offensive album covers. And if you are a fan of uh, vinyl videos, definitely check out uh, Sarah's Record Shelf. She is a big fan of death and black metal. She's Swedish. She's awesome. Link to her channel will be in the description. Go subscribe to her if you're into that sort of stuff. Very cool channel. Um, but she made a video response to someone about offensive album covers. And she showed some of the more offensive ones she has in her collection. And it got me thinking about this question that I'm about to ask. And it's, has an album cover ever deterred you from getting an album because of how offensive and over the top it is? Or did it ever encourage you? Or even has the aesthetics of a band affected you to the point where you thought, I'm going to check this out or I won't even touch it? For me, it took a long time and many attempts for me to even listen to Carcass. Back when I was maybe 14, 15 years old, just getting into death metal. Um, I found this album cover on Wikipedia, actually, and uh, I found out that they were real people. Those were autopsy photographs, and it just made me violently sick. And then there's just some really grotesque stuff in here, yeah. Um, but that really deterred me for a little while but then it also sparked my interest and I kinda wanna hear about this because it's something so extreme I kinda wanna check this out see what it's all about and maybe I'll like it um it just kind of it had a weird effect on me I'm wondering if that's ever happened to any of you guys another good example is I grew up in a religious house so I first heard of mayhem I was frightened uh, I didn't know what to expect at all. All I knew was these guys are crazy. There's, they've killed each other. There's people that have committed suicide and they took pictures. And I heard the rumor of the people eating brains and sending out skull necklaces and all this crap. And the aesthetic really drew me towards that. Just because I was curious to know what the music sounded like that... What kind of music people like that could create, I guess you could say. Um, just really made me curious about that. And the same thing goes for Burzum. When I found out about the acts that Varg committed. I was very curious to hear what kind of person could make music. And what kind of music it could be and how good it could be. And as weird as that sounds, that's how I got into... Uh, like. Burzum and Mayhem and black metal in general because if it wasn't for uh, actually the first song on this album I wouldn't be into black metal as heavily as I am at this moment but it's always made me wonder if other people have had that same has experienced that same effect on them as in the album cover has or the aesthetic of the band has either encouraged them to check out the band or deterred them from listening to the band so that's my question to you guys uh, let me know in the comments below or leave me a video response and I guess this could also tie in does the ideology of a band deter you and I say that as in here's a tape of an NSBM band from Russia called Raven Dark Raven Dark are an awesome band but their NS. Will that deter you? So does ideology, controversy, um, offensive album covers, or the aesthetic of a band ever deter you or encourage you to listen to music? So let me know. And I guess I should kind of answer about this. Does it encourage me to listen to the band? Absolutely not. Does it bother me? Eh. I don't know how I feel about it because I'm not racist, but I do like the music a lot. And to me, that at the end of the day, that's what matters, not what the artist believes. Um, 
I don't go looking for NSBM. If I find a band that's great and they happen to be NS NSBM, it's just whatever to me. But let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. And uh, that's all I got to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.